Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handful. gathered up all the food of the seven years and laid up the food in the cities. And Joseph gathered corn as the sand of the sea very much until he left numbering, for it was without number. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for God said he hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for God hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. And the seven years of plenteousness that was in the land of Egypt were ended. The seven years of dearth began to come, according as Joseph had said. And the dearth was in all lands. But in all the land of Egypt, there was bread. And when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptians, Go unto Joseph. What he saith to you, do. And the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold unto the Egyptians. And the famine waxed sore in the land of Egypt. And all countries came into Egypt to Joseph for to buy corn, because that the famine was so sore in all lands. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren. For he said, lest peradventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. They said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest is this day with our father. And one is not. And 
And Joseph said unto them, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you. Or else, by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. ויבחנו דבריכם האמת איתכם, ואם לא, חי פרעה כי מרגלים אתם. This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses, but bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child? And ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them. And he turned himself about from them and wept. Turn to them again. And took from them Simeon and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the way. And they laded their asses with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he espied his money. For behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored. And lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? They came unto Jacob their father unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the lord of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. And we said, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Leave one of your brethren here with me, 
and bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and ye will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you. For his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt, their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. And Judah spake unto him, saying, If thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, He shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of these words. Could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judah said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go that we may live and not die, both we and thou and also our little ones. I will be surety for him. Of my hand shalt thou require him. If I bring him not unto thee and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame forever. And their father Israel said unto them, If it must be so now, do this. Take of the best fruits in the land in your vessels, and carry down the man a present, a little balm, and a little honey, spices, and myrrh, nuts, and almonds. And take double money in your hand, and the money that was brought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand, but adventure it was an oversight. Take also your brother, and arise, go again unto the man. And God Almighty give you mercy before the man, that he may send away your other brother and Benjamin. If I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And the men took that present, and they took double money in their hand, and Benjamin, and rose up and went down to Egypt. And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of his house, Bring these men home, and slay, and make ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. And the men were afraid because they were brought into Joseph's house. And they said, Because of the money that was returned in our sacks have we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us, and fall upon us, and take us for bondmen. Thank you. 
and they came near to the steward of Joseph's house and said, Oh, sir, we came indeed down at the first time to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to the inn that we opened our sacks, and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack, our money in full weight, and we have brought it again in our hand. And other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our sacks. And he said, Peace be to you, fear not. Your God and the God of your father have given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money. And he brought Simeon out unto them. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And he asked them of their welfare. And said, is your father well? The old man of whom ye spake, is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy servant, our father, is in good health. He is yet alive. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother of whom ye spake unto me? He said, God be gracious unto thee, my son. And Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn upon his brother. And he sought where to weep. And he entered into his chamber and wept there. He washed his face and went out and refrained himself and said, set on bread. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright and the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled one at another. And he took and sent messes unto them from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. <laughs> and they drank and were merry with him. And he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth. And put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money. 